It is finally here. Clinchfield Railroad is here. Welcome aboard, passengers. Mega Sim here. How are you doing? Hopefully you are well. We are doing the training session <clears throat> to start off with. On the Clinchfield Railroad, we're going to do the training and we're gonna go for I'm gonna go for the Clinchfield Railroad route introduction, and then I'll go for the F7 introduction afterwards because we've done the SD40, so we'll keep this particular video just on the Clinchfield and the F of seven. <clears throat> Hopefully that sounds good to you. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. Just trying to find my... Uh... E. You've just been awarded there we go. action points. Trying to you remember what to do. In the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. Excellent. So we got that. Ah, there we go. Okay. It is necessary to be fully aware of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left, and right. Okay. Up, down, left, and right. No. Besides operating trains. There are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. Okay. Oh, oh, this what did I do? <gasps> to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. Interesting. So we have to break trees. That's very good. Let's open that cab door and climb that ladder. A lot of time will be spent operating trains. So when ready, sit in the engineer's seat. So what I've got is I've got my mouse, but I've also got my Xbox controller that I've got plugged into uh, my train. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now and then return to the game when ready. I think I've got the audio on a bit too loud. I think you could have heard that, so that's not good. Right. Let's do that, then do that. A heads up display has That's better. You're not hearing it now. I think there would probably be a little bit of feedback to start with. Okay. This is the speed display. The white needle shows. Thanks, Matt. We all know about this. Marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. Really? Oh, didn't know that. This is the direction display. <laughs> yeah. An arrow Got will indicate forward, <laughs> reverse, and neutral directions. Yeah, know that one. And this is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power... So I decided to get this on PC instead of PlayStation. So it These did take a while for it to end up on PC. Uh, I think it was like quarter past well, six it ended up coming on. Topic. So English time, British time. Um, so yeah, it's, you know later on in the evening and i thought i'd do a video and then put it out for the next day so yeah this one will be out friday i believe um as you know just some busy stuff going on so just trying to find some time for some videos but we will get back into doing a few more videos soon it's just yeah these past few weeks are pretty hectic this train is ready to go pull the indicated handle excellent we are ready and raring to go so Pull the handle. Okay. That was a very clunk, clunk, the wasn't it? The railroad is both an originator of coal tonnage and a bridge line for manifest freight traffic. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice. This locomotive is a classic electromotive F7 diesel electric. The Clinchfield Railroad operates 24 of the cab equipped wow. units and 20 of the, 20 of the booster bees. bees. Nice. I like the sound of that. Doesn't look too bad. It's a bit. I 
don't know, I thought I'd get like a better experience on the PC, but it still feels very similar. Not allowing me to, uh... Well, we've got the booster on there. Oh no, it's not a booster, it's just one of those in the other way, going the other way. Right, let's take a lovely screenshot. There we go, and let's go back in here. Right. Okay. Trains in World Two allows you to ride, ride and, and operate from a selection of cameras. Yep. Views. Yeah. La da 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 da. Lovely. Okay. There we go. Okay. Those little buttons there. Interesting. Right, we use the internal. So let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to the Clinchfield Railroad. Thanks, Matt. The Clinchfield is one of one America's, America's most, most famous and iconic, iconic railways. Thanks Didn't you say that for the Sam Patch grade? More inspiring scenery <laughs> and tough mountain. The Rio Grande the of the East. The Rio Grande of the East. The Grande, the not Grand. Grande. Appalachian yeah. coal country, and you'll be serving mines. I am looking forward to seeing what this uh, DLC will and offer. Branches. Um, it's going to be exciting. Yep, so you got the Manifest Fruit. I can't wait to uh, move the Florida oranges as well. That'll be a good one, the Florida Fruit. Don't forget to repair broken fences, fallen logs, refill fire buckets Ooh. and bag up spilled coal oh whether operating on the main line yeah yeah we just got to be careful of that you choose the place to the legendary Clinchfield Railroad oh yes right okay so that was great didn't really do much did we it was quite slow so what we're going to do is we're going to do the F7 introduction and that is what we're going to do right now okay let's go for it welcome to engineer training here you'll be taken through the operation of a classic electromotive division f7 diesel electric locomotive mm -hmm. during this, this brief introduction, introduction we will go we will through go the critical locomotive, locomotive controls and freight operations. operations so we're going to climb aboard to get started climb aboard to get started oh sd40 there look at that Nice. Love it. Oh, yeah. What is it? Fruit growers. So is that the Florida oranges? Sorry, I know we should be doing the thing, but it's the Florida oranges, isn't it? Fruit growers. Yeah. Interesting. Right. Let's get aboard this gorgeous F7. Take a seat in the engineer's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. Hey. The fuel pump will need to be closed to allow fuel to reach the locomotive. Yeah. For goodness sake. Right. Headlights. That one. The engine is currently shut down and will need to be started. Let's press and hold it, Matt. Press and hold press it. And hold the engine start. Yeah, for 10 seconds. Hey. The isolation valve is currently in the start position. Nine run. The rotor valve allows the operator to set the brake mode to match the required operation of the locomotive. Is it? For the lead locomotive of a long train, use the freight setting. For the lead locomotive of a shorter train, use the passenger setting. Okay, so we need to set it to freight. Locomotive, use the appropriate freight or passenger lap setting. Okay. If running as a light locomotive, the passenger setting is recommended for rapid brake response. Slim. Right. The reverser determines the direction of travel. Forward. 
The transition lever is used to control the flow of the electrical current for the traction motors. Okay, which diesel is electric. Based on the yeah. movement the locomotive is currently performing. S Got to try and remember all this. As we are performing this. switching duties around a yard, we will need to set the control to series parallel shunt. Do this now by you. That's number two. The unit selector is used by the engineer to specify how many locomotives are in the current lash-up. Just two. The generator field switch will need to be set. Use the indicated switch. Yeah. Engine run. Independent. Release. For this introduction, we will be performing switching duties and handling the loading of hoppers. Okay. You are now ready for service. You know what I'm like. Full power! <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, it's very shaky, isn't it? Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed. Okay. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the handle into the braking range. Yeah. So we are going down to here. Let's just triple check. That goes up there. Yep. And we're going to the right one there. Not like in the rear in that. Come on. Yeah, horn is dodgy. Yeah, we kind of realised that. You can see, look. Oh, did you see them? Look, watch. Oh, we're going, we're speeding, we're speeding. Yeah, you can see these, look. Do, 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 do. Which is quite cool. Let's go to independent rate. Okay. There we go. This okay. yard features both manual and automatic switches. The manual switches will need to be set on foot before departing. The hoppers are in front of us. You will need to approach them slowly to safely couple and avoid a potential derailment. Okay. Ah. Ah. Hey, Loft. Why are we going the wrong way? Put that back on. Throttle's in idle, yeah? Why did that go to parallel shunt? Huh. Why are we... Versa is forward. Weird. So why is it not allowing me? Right, let's do it again. Is it because I went into emergency brake, possibly? Yeah, possibly. Just gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Right, so heading towards the Harpers.
Okay. There, we're almost there. put any headlights on. How rude. Try and get this right. Come on. Wait for a moment. With the hoppers successfully coupled, your next task is to bring the cut of cars over to the tipple to begin the loading process. Okay. When loading hoppers, you need to keep to a slow and controlled speed to allow the loader to correctly and safely load the hoppers. Okay. Apply a small amount of power to start moving and then adjust the throttle back to the idle position once you're traveling at no more than three miles per hour. Oh, we're actually going forward, are we? Okay. Okay, let's have a look and just ensure that we do this properly. Load coal. Okay, so we've loaded the first one. I believe that's right. Let's go to the next one. Yep, that looks like it's fully loaded. Next one. These are all different size trucks, aren't they? Or maybe these two are the same, but the other two aren't, yeah. I think we're doing well on this. What do you think? Probably gonna say, no, Megasim, you're doing awful. Well, we're gonna uh, fill our final goal. that coal. It's more like cement to me. Nice job. The hoppers are now loaded. Your final task is to couple this cut of cars to the waiting train. Okay. Right. Where does it want us to go? You will need to contact the dispatcher before you can leave the yard. Contact the dispatcher and ensure you're given clearance before proceeding. Hey. Where do we have to go that way? Okay. Okay, we need to come back here. This is quite fun. I like this. Not too bad. What we'll do is we'll press the control A. What do you think of this cleach field? Trees look good, don't they? I think this is one that will grow on me. I'm 
you know, I've I wasn't really into sand patch grade myself. So I've just got to kind of think of it that way that I need to view it as you know, it's something that will be fun to to drive but may just still be slow because it's freight. You know, I'm I'm a as you know, I'm a passenger person. I'm a passenger driver. Uh, I don't want that, do I? I want the automatic brake. No, I don't want that. Oh. Yeah, I think I stuck it in uh, emergency again. Well, that's fine. Don't worry. Right. So, we're just coming up to this Puttacole entrance. And then I guess we just need to uh, do our reverser again to cancel out that emergency brake. Oh, again. That emergency is so quick. Right. There we go. Yeah, so I'm just putting it into emergency way too quickly. Okay. Set the switch. So we need to connect to this one. Let's just ensure we get to go on that one, that one, that one, that one. Yep, that looks fine to me. So, uh, have heater, have wipers, gauge lights. Number lights. Class light. Love it. There we go. So we need to start going back towards this train. We can couple these up and then we'll have a whale of the time and that will be the end of that chapter hopefully you've enjoyed this i've enjoyed it i know it's only a short one just to kind of have a look at clinchfield um but yeah it's uh it's exciting so far i'm looking forward to seeing what this route gives us Two hundred and fifty yards before we get there. I'm trying to slow the train down. There we go. So uh, it literally is. Yeah. I'll be so careful. First service, lap, service. And I'm not doing very well. Hey, that was a good crash bang wallop into those cars. Use the cut bar on the rear hopper to uncouple the hoppers from this locomotive. Okay. So let's use the cut bar. Okay. 
There's the cut bar. It's this side, isn't it? Who is it? I don't know. Oh, that was there. It is. Hey, okay. good job. That is all of the tasks that have been assigned to you for now. Bring the locomotive back to the yard for use later in the day. Check we're going to the right place. Yeah, points of void have been set for us. Not too shabby. Way too fast now. Yeah, this is a nice train. What do you think of it, guys? What do you think? Just uh, have a look at the front. Nice. Like it, like it. Horn's a bit dodgy. But yeah, it's been fun. It's been all right. Taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. So, wifey's going to be like, you said 15 minutes. And I said, I thought it would be, but it just took a little bit longer. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Mega Sim. As I said, um, just at the moment, uh, been doing some other things uh, with work but yeah getting back into it soon so yeah have a great weekend everyone we will see you on the next video this is mega sim out of here okay Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this locomotive. And it looks pretty decent, doesn't it? But no, thanks guys for watching. Uh, before we do, let us just go back to the main screen because we want to have a look with the scenarios. So we have some real long scenarios. We've got the setup with the SD40. We've got limited power, the Nora Spur. We've got the Greenbrier branch. We've got the Fremont. Ascent, the Fremont Descent, and the Mixed Power. So yeah, very interesting uh, scenarios there. Also, with our timetable services, um, hopefully we will have access to, yes, the Florida Perishables. And funnily enough, it's not given us the times. So you know, like um, Sam Patch Grade gave us times on here. These have, and there's no time on here. So I would like to know how long that's actually going to be. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite timetable route that you have done so far on the F7 or the SD40? Um, but yeah, I think that's quite good. Exploring on foot as well is another thing that you can do. And there are lots and lots and lots of options there, which is nice, pretty nice. Very straight. The map is very straight. So is the route that straight or is it? Ooh, all over the place anyway we will see you on the next video oh man this is mega sim out of here see you later guys bye